friends, happy Sunday to you. It's Mr. Andy here, your friendly neighborhood children's director, and I hope that you've been uh, doing okay over this weekend. Sometimes with all the rain we've been having, we feel a little bit stuck, right? Stuck inside, stuck uh, having to do the same things over and over at home. Well, friends, this month we're talking about how we can become unstuck through God's promises in Scripture. We have a word we've been using uh, to help us with this, determination. What are you determined to do? Are you determined to get outside and play again? Are you determined to go see your friends and play at a park again? Well, these are all things that we have hope in that we can do sometime soon. But while we're at home and while we feel stuck, doesn't mean we have to stay stuck. There's other things that we can do with our time and attention. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me this morning. We're going to be talking about how we can be unstuck, especially through a, a different story than we've heard before. It's in the book of Acts. And this is a story about Peter and John. They were doing exactly what they were told to do by Jesus, right? Someone who they love and trust and know that is the son of God. Well, what happens when you're doing something that someone that you trust and love tells you to do, but you get in trouble for it? Well, in their case, they kind of get really stuck and they get thrown in jail. Well, we're going to let our so-and-so show teach us more about that today. But before we jump into that, why don't we start with a prayer? Let's go to God in this time and then we will jump into our so-and-so show. So if you'll join me, let's open with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. God, thank you so much for a house to be stuck in. And God, thank you for the rain, for helping wash the earth and the air clean, helping giving nature what it needs to grow. God, help us to grow as you let the grass and the flowers and the trees and plants grow. Help us to grow and to produce what is needed to glorify you. God, we love you and we thank you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. All God's friends said... Amen. Well, without further ado, why don't you check out this so-and-so show, and I hope you enjoy it. We'll come back afterwards and talk about One always start things like this. I don't know why. Hey, welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm John, and that's Brandon. Yes, I am. During today's show, anytime anyone asks a question, a bucket of something will be dumped on their head. Brandon, tell everyone all the shenanigans we're going to get into today. You bet, John. First, we got a someone who knows stuff. A boom! We got Kellen with an awesome Bible story. Double boom! Puppet Head Theater. Triple boom! And... Wait, wait, wait. wait. What comes after triple boom? Uh... Quadruple. Right. Yeah, quadruple. Boom. Thanks, Brandon. No problem, John. See, why did a bucket of rice just get dumped on my head? Uh... <laughs> what was it that time? Uh... Powdered sugar. Shredded cheese. I think I know what's happening. Oh yeah? What's happening? Uh... I think every time we ask a question, something gets poured on our head. I see. Yeah, but how do we, uh, you know, I mean, how... Uh, we ask questions all the time. We, we, we might as well not do the show if we can't ask questions. I know, but what about... Uh, uh, but people are counting on us to do the show. Yeah. Some of uh, the things we do on the show really matter. I mean, it's, it's, it's not always about having baked beans dubbed on your head. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Uh... <sighs> you 
You're right. Let's call it a day. No. No, you're right. We have got to keep going. Just don't ask any questions. I'll try. Why was it? Nope, not gonna ask it. I've got it. It's time for someone who knows stuff. Oh. Come on in here, okay, to grab that. Have a seat. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah, pull on in. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Some. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for coming to the show today. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Uh huh. So, who are you? We we would like to know your name and your area of expertise. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, so, my name is Dr. Ira Viscus, uh, and I'm here to answer any questions that you might have regarding chemical reactions. So, ask away. Uh. You go first, Brandon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to, John. Yeah. Thank you. Dr. Viscous, mm. do you have what I mean to say? You do have mm. a favorite chemical reaction that you like to demonstrate on occasion. I presume. Ah, oh, mm. mm, I do. You do? Okay. <laughs> of course, now I, now I like all chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're, they're wonderful. However, my favorite kind are the ones that create slime. Ooh. Oh, no kidding. What kind of slime? Uh, well, no. Oh, this is really good slime. It's the perfect consistency to drop on someone's head. <laughs> Terrific. Yeah, you see, the, the, the thicker slimes, they don't drop as fast, and they're pretty hard to get out of your hair, so you huh. keep it short. Oh, man. hey, uh, do you have any, uh, I mean, what I mean to ask what it say mm. is uh, in, in there, mm. in the, uh, mm. there, there's slime in there. God, oh, there is some slime in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. that's, that's, that's great, that's great. Oh, awesome. awesome, what kind is this? Uh, hmm. What? Oh! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, very nice. This is called the fluffy slime. It's created when you mix polyvinyl acetate with good old fashioned shaving cream. Feel it, it's very squishy. That's great. Oh, yeah, see, look at it. It's really great. like that and go bounces. Yeah. <laughs> and this one here, this is the classic slime, you see. It's amazing what a little sodium borate can do. Look at that. It's, oh, it's gooey. It's bleeding. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How long? Uh, 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 it must have taken you a long time to learn all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Lots of time, lots of school, lots of hard work and study. But when something's important to you, it's worth it for, for you to keep going, you know? So do you know what I mean? Uh... Oh, 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 that's awesome! I love the slime! I love the slime! <laughs> I, uh, I think I understand, Brandon. Yeah? We gotta make it through this show! It's worth it! Yeah! We've come this far, let's do it! Yes! Thanks for coming on the show, Dr. Viscus! Oh, you're welcome! It's my pleasure! I love the slime! Oh, and you can keep those! <laughs> wow, thanks! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, goodbye! Bye, Bye, see ya! Oh, oh, oh. Hope you can oh. see me! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye! Uh, so, what, what happens, happens next? Uh, it's, it's Bible, Bible Story Time, time with Kellen! Hey guys! Whoa! That was not what I was expecting. I don't know. Seems pretty normal to me. Yeah, all right. Well, I was going to ask for your help to tell the Bible story, but if you're too slimy... Oh, we're, we're good. good. Great. 
Then it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. Sometime after Jesus had been crucified, resurrected, and taken up to heaven, two followers of Jesus named Peter and John went to the temple to pray. Well, it's prayer time, John. We're almost at the temple. Hold on a minute. Look over there. As John and Peter were nearing the temple, they saw a man who had never been able to walk. Change? Spare some change for a poor man? I don't have any silver or gold, but I can give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. That's oh. the problem. Oh, you can now. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Tell him, John. Uh, 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 whoa. Whoa. I can walk. Look at that. I can also jump. Whoa. And, uh, uh, and I can, I can dance. I'll go Jesus, I'll go Jesus, I'll go Jesus, you're the best. Sure. So the man followed Peter and John into the temple courtyard. People saw him walking and jumping and praising God and were amazed because they knew it was the same man who used to sit and beg at the temple gate. So Peter turned to the gathering crowd and said, I don't know why you're surprised. It's not as if we've made this man walk. The God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has done this. Tell him, John. When Jesus died on the cross, God raised him from the dead. We saw it with our own eyes. Tell him, John. It is faith in Jesus that has healed this man completely. And now you can see that with your own eyes. Watch. Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. I'm going to never stop dancing. Whoa. The priests of the temple were very upset with what Peter and John were saying about Jesus coming back from the dead. So they had them arrested and thrown into prison. The next day, Peter and John were brought to the high priest. You can't just go around healing people and talking about Jesus like that. Listen, when you nailed Jesus to a cross, God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that the man was healed. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. Tell him, John. Now you listen. You must never, 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 ever, 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 ever speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Don't do it. All right, let me think. Listen to you, listen to God. Listen to you, the high priest, or listen to God, the creator of the universe with the ability to bring someone back from the dead. That's a tough choice. Wait, no, it's not. Is that a tough choice, John? Uh. No, there is nothing else that we can do. Uh. We have to speak about what we've seen and heard. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, you should definitely be punished, though. I, I, I don't know how yet, but I'm going to think really hard about it. Now get out! Get out! The high priest wanted to punish Peter and John, but they didn't want to upset the people who were still amazed at how God healed the man who couldn't walk. Dance party! Oh, yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Show me your moves, John! Go! Woo! Right back at me! The end. You guys, take a bow. Great story. My pleasure. Good job, John. Thanks for your help. Man, John and Peter were so determined. You know, I think they'd keep going no matter what happened to them. Absolutely. They were going to tell everyone they came into contact with what they had heard Jesus say and what they had seen Jesus do. Right. Because when something's important, it's worth it to keep going even when it gets tough. I couldn't have said it better myself. Well... That's all I got. Unless, do you guys need anything else? Nope. We don't need anything else, Kellen. Good. You could have warned me. Yeah. Bye, Kellen. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Kellen got slimed. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you... Uh, oh. I mean, why... Uh, tell me your thoughts. I know what's coming next. Uh, oh, 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 you mean... Yeah. Reveal, reveal the, the question! question. How are we supposed to, I, I mean, I mean, we can't say the, without the, ew, whoop. I know. Oh, wait, I've got it. What? What keeps you from finishing what you start? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it a difficult math problem? Is it that you don't think you're big enough, or smart enough, or strong enough? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. We made it! Yeah, we should do it this way every time. No! Okay. Alright friends, well, if you feel stuck somewhere, I want to encourage you to keep going even when it gets tough. Remember, Peter and John both had some tough times. They did miracles, they did amazing things, and yet still people didn't believe they were who they said they were. They didn't believe that Jesus is who he says he is. And we as Christians know that these things are true. We believe that he did rise from the dead and that he loves us so much. And there are people out there that really need to hear that and really need to let that sink in and understand that no matter what they're going through, God is here with them and loves them. So friends, continue to spread the good word of Jesus to your friends, to your family, and remember to take it in in your own heart through reading your Bible. All right, friends, I hope you have a great week. I want to remind you of a fun camp. We're going to be doing an online backyard camp June 1st through 4th. Guys, this is going to have a whole bunch of fun uh, interactive games and devotions throughout each day, morning, noon, and night for the whole family, not just the kids. If you've got a grandparent or a parent or a little sibling, you can all do this together. So I'm looking forward to that. Stay tuned for more information. Until next time, I will see you. Bye, friends. Love you.